Harry and Meghan refused to do this allegedly, but seemingly not everybody is as well, shall we say, uncooperative as the former ex-royals. What are we talking about? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to see you today. By the way, people have been asking me, have I seen the Elvis movie? Um, not fully. I've seen the clips, you know. Elvis, to me, was one of the greatest. I mean, you know, he's up there with Frank Sinatra. There's so many greats, though, isn't it, when you think about it, you know. We forget about them now. Bing Crosby, Perry Como. Um, I liked Perry Como. He was so relaxed, wasn't he? And <laughs> easy going. But, of course, you know, we all have generational stuff. The Osmonds, I think, were fabulous. I just love them. Uh, when you think about how talented they were, and they got their big break didn't they with Andy Williams who equally to me unique voice you know as so many greats but um, yes Elvis the movie I would recommend it if you're a fan uh, apparently it's got great reviews and uh, it's one of those things I'm probably going to go and see when I get the opportunity or you know maybe we'll just see it on TV whichever but Elvis was an icon to so many when you talk to all these aging rockers that I know now you know and I say that with love the Tommy Steeles the Cliff they all cite Elvis as their inspiration. What a nice thing to have. Back as ever though to your breaking roll story of the day. It's interesting isn't it to note because right now we're in the midst of the bombshell reviews and uh, messages all about this book called Revenge and I've been lucky enough to meet the author Tom Bauer on a number of occasions now. He's the man of course who's done so many of these books and uh, very diligent in his research I would say. Conrad Black who I recently met also <laughs> Strange guy. Uh, let's just leave that there, shall we? And then, of course, Tom did a very good book on His Royal Highness Prince Charles. I mean, again, you know, I take a lot of these things with a pinch of salt because a lot of people can say many things, particularly disgruntled ex um, sort of workers and employees, and, you know, who's to prove what, etc. But what's been interesting here is, as we know, Prince Harry decided that when he was writing his tell all memoir, which is seemingly has gone into the ether right now, uh, he couldn't possibly, and as ever, we have to say, allegedly, forward a copy over to the palace. That would be Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace, or indeed for someone just at least to have the heads up about apparently what he was planning to write. So they truly have no idea. Now, this might not necessarily be all of Prince Harry's fault because this can come from the publisher. The publisher wants to have a massive impact and any time you give any document out there's the risk of it being leaked so we have to state that. What we can tell you though is that the publishers of Mr Bower's book Revenge very kindly did send copies over to Kensington Palace, Buckingham Palace and we assume <laughs> probably one propping her door back up in Balmoral for the Queen when she arrives from her summer holiday. Not quite sure she'd be that bothered about that though, do you? I don't necessarily think this particular book also will be making Camilla's reading room, but I'm sure they're all scouring through it to see what it says about them and what they've done or allegedly said. But I do think in this uh, sort of climate where the royals keep getting a battering from every single corner, isn't it nice at, at least at this point that someone has the courtesy, the common courtesy and decency to provide a book in advance so at least the royals could prepare with their teams to look and think well this is what's coming and this is what we could do should of course we be asked. What's going to be difficult though is when the royals do walkabouts and we've seen this less uh, deferential treatment towards them and people do just directly ask questions now particularly reporters of lesser standing or, you know you know the ones I'm talking about the ones from Sky News. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because really, you should have respect. You know, they're there uh, to promote that charity or event. They're not there to discuss scurrilous gossip. But either way, I think Kensington Palace, Buckingham Palace, are mighty relieved at least to know in advance what exactly was in this book that suddenly is set in, well, certainly the industry alight. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.